Hello and welcome back to another RV walkthrough. My name's Taylor Quayle. We're here at Padata RV Center in Tucson, Arizona. And today we're looking at a pretty cool coach. This is a 2006 Winnebago Voyage 35A. It's a triple slide on the Chevy Workhorse chassis with the 8.1 liter Vortec. About 35 foot overall, just under 67,000 miles. And we're gonna give it a good look. Now, of course, all the info on this coach will be in the description box down below, including all my contact info for you are interested. We're going to first give it the four corners look, check out the compartments, and then we'll jump inside. Going to look a little weird back here with that slide right there, but you can see two slides on the passenger side, one on the driver's side. Here's the front driver's side. You can tell you do have an entry door, and the compartments do come out with the slide on this coach. All right, let's check out those compartments. We're gonna start over here on the passenger side, start up front. Let's actually take a peek at the tire first. They are Toyo M154, 245, 75R, 22.5s. These are dated 2817, so about five years old. Let's get all these compartments opened. All right, got them all open. So your first compartment right here as you can see, it does have some upper storage up there. You do have a ladder extension for the rear and a couple window shades, a little bit of jacks, and then of course an awning control. Now this compartment is connected to this area right here and you can get a better look at that over, over upper storage, I should say. Moving on down, a couple water lines in there. And then you have like an outdoor little entertainment center there with some speakers water fill, power connection, same Toyo tires on the rear. 28.7 gallons on that propane tank. Now you got that Coleman Mach AC system. It's a basement AC that Winnebago's, you know, uses quite a bit. Very similar to, to a two AC system. Easier to work on too. Now in the back, 5,000 pound hitch, seven tank connector. go get that ladder extension so we can go check out the roof that gum it is bright up here i am sorry as you can see no ac systems up here a couple vent covers skylight for the bathroom local tv antenna and it does look like it has some type of satellite dish up there probably outdated but all the wiring's there forgot to mention you do have a backup camera and they did add side vision cameras to this coach Owning Marquise Gold 5500. We'll check the hours inside. 50 amp power service with an auto transfer switch. Here, dump station and outdoor shower. Fuel fill, driver's side in the rear. Back of the fridge right there. And at the body of this, I mean, you got a couple faded decals, especially on the driver's side. But the, the brown down below looks really good. I don't see too much oxidation on the white dodge all these slide outs here so your compartment right here is all connected into one which is nice so it's just one big massive storage area and like i said you do have a uh entry door right here if you're at a gas station you just want to go out there to quickly fill up no big deal a couple steps and a handle side vision camera right there like i said this is the vortec uh, 8.1 liter Vortec engine on that workforce chassis paired with the Allison transmission. That's the exterior. Let's jump inside. As we go in here, three exterior steps. It does have a screen door, probably a couple batteries under there. Awning, battery disconnect, and compartment lights. Your awning is right there. I'm not going to put it out because it will hit this coach if I go too far. All right, here is the front. slowly turn around and here is your fork let me go stand right in the bathroom and look forward all right so we're gonna start this walkthrough up front like every other walkthrough they did upgrade this TV it is a Sanyo now it's on a little bit of a mount a little bit different from the tube TV that was stuck back there you have just a little bit of storage top left and top right but top right has your switch box and my god what a, look at that thing big old receiver they put in here for this round so leather seats 
they look pretty good for the age for an 06. I mean, you got some stress marks there, but no actual rips or tears. And you do have a little, little armrest issue there on the passenger seat, but the rest of it looks really good. All right, so on the left side, kind of hard to see with the sun, but leveling jacks does have an auto mode. Your window, your window actually does open here. Let's knucklehead turn around. Very cool. And then it does have mirror heat over here. It has a great brake on a gas or battery boost, light controls. Your front slide is controlled right there. 66,288.9. Your backup camera, and that should also show us your side vision cameras. And then of course your, your dash heat. And then other normal stuff. Radio power, generator, things like that. Doghouse is right here with the engine. Does have a little extension for the passenger and some storage back there too. Seats are manual for both the driver. I'm sorry, for the passenger and then the driver is an eight-way. Try not to hit my phone here. Up, down, left, right. Adjust that thigh and that butt. All right, so your first slide goes from this corner all the way down to that corner right there. You have your booth dinette and your Winnebago electric couch. And then on the other side, from that corner there down to that corner right there, your kitchen is another slide out. We're gonna start on the driver's side and look at the uh, look at the seating area. So of course the dinette will drop down to be a sleeper. It does have some spring-loaded seats so you can get some storage under there. And if you've ever seen this, couch before i know i've demoed it a couple times it's one of my favorite couches in the business so you have a little drop down centerpiece right there with a couple cup holders and some storage now this thing will also lay flat but you do have a leg rest right here when it, that'll pop out just lift that up so now you have the optional leg rest you could even put it in to make it like a tv tray and then when you lay this flat which i'm not going to make you wait i'll be right back it turns into one massive sleeping area. Now, of course, you do have a couple undulations in it, but after a couple drinks or a long day on the lake, that's no big deal. You sleep there like a baby. Love that couch. Great. It's one of the best sofas, in my opinion, in the business, and it withstands the test of time, not like a lot of the other chintzy stuff people are putting out. It is a cloth couch, but I don't see any rips or tears. Maybe a little bit of fraying right there in the middle, but for something that's what is this 17 years old already it looks pretty good your overhead storage is above the dinette same concept as above the couch they're all connected day and night shades throughout the whole coach a couple power hookups there now like i said you do have these spring loaded seats with some storage down below and a couple seat belts here's my sales ad we're selling this bad boy for 49.995 your exact floor plan right there. Sorry for the shakes. And some of these specifications, some of the important stuff I thought I'd highlight and a couple of the options this coach comes with. All right, let's continue on here. So moving our way back up, we're gonna start right here on the passenger side. It does have a little kind of barrel recliner chair. Now this is an extension that I pulled out. This does go into place so you can still access the storage down below, but this is a great little feature. I mean, it gives you just that much more counter space. It is also a Corian top, so it matches the rest of the counter. Really cool. Right above that, little bread box with a power connection. Probably put a small appliance in there. Oh, smoke detector. What is this? Now this does come with the convection microwave. There is no oven. But you do have your three burner gas stove top right there. And then three drawers, bottom one being just a hair taller. And then three more drawers, same concept, bottom one being just a hair taller. Good amount of counter space. Right above that counter, you do have some more storage. And then to the right, not part of the slide, this slide does come in and comes up to about right around that area. You have your sink. I am missing one of the Corian covers. And then there's a little pop-up leaf right there. And even more storage down below. 
and then a spice rack. Very cool. Now just to the right of that is your Norcold four-door fridge and freezer. Now these don't vary too much. They all kind of look the same. You should have an ice maker in the top left. There it is. And then your regular freezer. The main control panel for this coach is located midway. Your true air system, lines, generator, hours. Can you see that? 650.2. And then check this out. I'm sure you're wondering where the audio box walkie-talkies are. They got their own compartment in this voyage. And down below here, brick box. All right, so making our way into the bathroom, you do have a slider door right here. Some of these coaches, you gotta use this door to separate the bedroom from the main living area. This one does have a complete slider. Nice little vanity with makeup lights. Decent size sink, and then three drawers. Now, the shower, that kind of handheld shower head and seat were both an option in this coach. These should be able to hold, I think it was 250, maybe 300 pounds on the seats. I'm gonna have to look that up again and find out. And then, your bathroom. Like I said, this could act as kind of a separator if you wanted to put a little piece of magnetic on it, but you have that slider door, so really no use. Plastic toilet. And then there is a little bit of storage up top. Probably power hookup for the uh, bedroom. What's in there? Water lines for the washer and dryer. And that's the bathroom. And I love how it has this separate little window door for your main bedroom it's very cool it gives a much fancier look right here is where you could put a well, combo washer dryer and then it has a sleep number mat queen mattress and this is where the other slide is from there to there and that guy does look to be about three feet deep and that will come in with the push of a button now, let's see i can't remember it does have a little bit of under bed storage and then there's a little bit of overhead storage too. Not connected, of course, because they have the uh, non-compartment centerpiece. The wardrobe up front, very decent size, six drawers. Now I gotta set those drawers back up, but that's usually shelving too. Six of those. And then your wardrobe right here. Let's open this one too. gonna shut <laughs> but this also has the auto light that comes on when you press the button and then over in the corner let me stand back you got your <laughs> they didn't upgrade that tv you got your tube tv your sony in there all right and that's that was a quick walkthrough but that is our 2006 winnebago voyage 35a now of course we got to put these slides in get an idea what you can access when the slides are in and how it looks outside so i'll be right back and here we are all the slides are in so you got your one or your first passenger side slide right there the driver's side slide is in and as you can see i mean you can't put the leg rest out but you can still sit on the couch you do have to retract the extension for the uh counter you still access the full kitchen half the sink and then of course your fridge right here fully accessible May have to sidestep the doors to open them, but you can still get to them. Bathroom, nothing changes in here. I mean, this is the exact same. Bedroom is where the other change is, of course, because that slide is in. Let me tell you, you can still do laundry if you add a washer dryer. You just can't put it away into the drawers. So there you go. And finally, let's look at this coach outside while you're in this travel mode. All right, passenger side, two slides, rear slide for the bed and the kitchen slide. And then of course your driver's slide, that front slide is in. Once again, all the info on this coach will be in the description box down below, including a link to our website and all my contact info. If you have any questions, reach out. I appreciate you guys viewing this video. Hopefully you learned something and I hope you guys have a great day.